how's it going guys welcome back to the walking dead so in the last episode we discovered clementine and we saw her in a grown self and yeah sends sends chills around my body haven't seen clementine in a long long time rhymes and chisel but yeah let's get straight into this episode hopefully you guys are enjoying this so far uh i don't even know what i said before this so that's a cool clementine. name cool name if you say so God, she looks so old. I mean, it's like four years later, maybe. I don't know. Oh, well, I'm gonna die. Love it. Girl got skills. Look, you don't want to talk? Fine. But how about you give me that gun back so I can at least defend myself? For all I'd know, you'd turn around and use it on me. You give me a weapon, we can protect each other. I give you a weapon, I can't take my eyes off you. At least this way I know what I'm up against. Muertos. The herd caught up with us. Muertos. What do you call them? Walkers. Well, what do you call the ones that run? They're all fucking walkers, okay? Look, I'm just... I'm not used to being around other people. Not for a while, anyway. Usually, it's just me on my own. Apology accepted. I wasn't apologizing. Wasn't really the way I would have phrased that, but okay. So, who's at this junkyard? My brother's kids. And his wife. It's impressive, surviving this long. Not sure how you did it. Just keeping everyone together like that. Well, I didn't do it alone. My, uh, well, uh, Kate helped. She did most of the work, actually. Sounds nice, having a partner. It is. Well, how about you? You must have been pretty young when this shit started. I was. But some people looked out for me, too. What happened to them? Same thing that happens to everyone. I did miss Lee. Shit. We can't stay here. There's a town up ahead. We can stay there until the herd passes. Otherwise, we're walker food. We can't make a detour. I need to get to my family. And I need that van. But right now, you have to trust me. Oh, you mean the way you trust me? Don't make me regret this. Come on. So I'm confused. Are we go into his family. We go in to this town. I don't know. I think we are going to the family. That's why they're running so they can outrun the herd. But there. The Clementine side stable. This is a junkyard. Oh. Get to the gate. Keep going. Open up. I remember this. I'm so confused. Is the junkyard even like this when we came? I can't open the gate till you clear them out. Can't risk it. Boom. Um, this guy. That's, he's getting a bit, she's getting a bit close, even. But bam! Javier's got a shot on him. So it's kind of time. Sort of. Oh shit, don't die. Boom! 
Can't have a little clinic clue dying on us. Oh shit. God effing damn it, Francine. One of these days, those doors are gonna close and your ass will be on the other side. <laughs> yeah, and when that day comes, Trip, I promise I'll eat you first. <laughs> it's Clementine, right? You staying a while this time? No. Once the walkers pass, I'm taking this guy to a junkyard off the highway. My family might be trapped there, hiding from some very bad dudes. Well, shit. I'm truly sorry to hear that. This herd rolled in pretty quick. We're hoping it's gone just as fast. So, just keep your heads down and steer clear of trouble. You got me? There's too much going on outside the walls tonight. We'll be cool. Just need a place to ride out the herd, that's all. All right. I'm gonna hold you to that. And I wouldn't recommend changing your mind if you want to hang on to all your teeth, that is. Now head on in. I got shit to do. I got a feeling that when we walk well, back to the junkyard, we're, we're not gonna to find it somewhere. I can just see that coming. It seems kind of inevitable. Inevitable. But, uh, I don't know. It's a pretty cool place, actually. Oh. From an old airstrip, I guess. Pretty dope. The people, on the other hand, they're not my favorite. Usually I'm in and out as quick as I can manage. Not exactly an option this time, though. Hey, what's the problem? You have some sort of history here that I should know about? Not really. I just... I know what people are capable of. Hey, Javi. What's... what's up? My family... They're still out there. If you guys made it this long, I I'm sure you know... they'll know what to do. Hopefully. Let's go. This way. I gotta see a guy about some bullets. It's like a interesting little town. Got a feeling it may come back to us, so let's Jeez. try and uh, I haven't been in a place like this since stay well, clear. You know, all of the bad characters. Like Listen, I gotta take care of something. Hang tight. Well, wait, wait. What should I do? I don't know. Why don't you make some friends? I want to know, because our bald guy that kind of like the guy that we saw at the junkyard with the hat on, but I don't know. Chess, not really my game. I think Gabe used to play though. Well, let's make some friends. Excuse me. Oh, you again. You got some moves, I'll give you that. Hold on a minute. Don't I note you from somewhere? I don't know. Maybe. Garcia. Javier Garcia. For what it's worth, I think you got screwed on the gambling thing. A lifetime ban. Shit. Should have had a 20-year career. The way I see it, nothing wrong with betting on yourself to win. And that got a lifetime ban? Nah, they just wanted to set an example. I was the poor bastard they used to do it on. All I know is what I read in the papers. Anyway, I'm Conrad. This here's Francine. He runs the place? I just take his money. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe I'm just letting you win. Oh, actually, if you're the gambling type, game's poker. Five card stud. I'll raise you. What do you think? Should I call? Should I fold? Hmm. Don't get too intimidated. I lose more often than I can. That's not a bad hand. Though all it takes is one good hand. He's bluffing. He's got bullshit written all over. <laughs> is that a fact? All right. I think I'll listen to the man. Call. Moment of truth. Flip him. Oh my. Ain't that a pretty sight? It is. 
Good looking hand there, but not good looking enough. Oh shit. God damn it. Whoopsie. Sorry. And thanks for playing. Let me get you a drink for the assist. On the house. Bottoms up. Wow, man, this smells like turpentine. <laughs> That's the weak stuff. Don't turn away <laughs> from me. I'm talking to you. Oh, shit. Hey, what's the point in talking when I already told you a deal is a deal and it's done? What's going on? This guy ripped me off. I traded him a crate of perfectly good batteries, and he gave me a box of bullets that won't fire. He could have gotten both of us killed. Oh, yeah? And who the fuck are you, a bodyguard or something? Because I don't scare easy, all right? And I don't respond to threats, neither. Damn right. So you better figure out a way to fix this. And I mean real fast. Uh, well, you can't even prove those are the bullets I traded you. Oh, hey, Clem, come on. He knows the bullets don't work. Listen to him. He's not even nervous. I could have died because of his bullets. Oh, Unfucking believable. Look out! Oh, shit. Ooh, spam the ice one. Oh. I may have got skills. Listen. Let's all cool down, huh? You were acting crazy, I was too. We just got a little out of hand. That's all. Just give me what I'm owed. Jesus, you gotta get her under control, man. This ain't no way to do business. Fuck you. Talk to Clem like that. We had a deal. All right, hey, okay, all right, so hey, we'll, we'll trade back. I'll find some batteries. I don't need batteries. What I need are bullets that won't get me killed. Oh. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Oh shit. Drop the gun. Right now. Say he attacked you and that he was going for his gun. I fucking warned you. Eli attacked him. I only shot because. Shut it. You done enough talking. Drop it. There's a herd out there and you're firing off a fucking. What the fuck happened here? He attacked Javi, okay? It was self-defense. Enough from you. Did she really have to shoot? Obviously, I'm gonna agree with Clem. Look at my eye, man. Of course she's telling the truth. The guy ripped her off, reached for his gun, and would have shot me if she hadn't stopped him. See? You happy now? <sighs> God damn it. I'm putting you two under lock and key until I figure out what to do with Whoa. you. Whoa! Oh, hey, what? Are you for real? As real as it gets. Now move it. Got some nerve coming in and fucking up my bar. Well, that was a uh, good way to introduce yourself, I must say. Chapter 4 already. Jeez. I'd have Not punched your fucking bad. lights out, both of you. But Eli was a grade A certified dipshit. I'll even have someone come take a look at that cut. Hey, thanks for having my back at the hangar. That was, um, that was cool of you. Of course. Anytime. Well, I mean, you and I are a team now. Thanks. <laughs> I mean it. Yes. Just Got a cloud of time on our side. We are unstoppable. Hello? Like what? I'm Eleanor. I'm what passes for a doctor around here. The trip sort of overdoes it sometimes. I hate that I'm treating you in a cage. Like you're some feral animal. Javier. Pleasure's all mine. Is it now? Now, let's see about that wound. Yeah, he got you good. Try to hold still. <clears throat> Why is it always the pretty ones who end up causing the most trouble? Cool. Because of good looks cool equal bad it. behavior or something. It takes one to know what? Yeah. Well, it takes one to know one. One what? One pretty troublemaker. 
I'll give you that one. People are saying she killed a man in cold blood. If you don't mind me asking, what did happen exactly? That they were arguing and that she went crazy over nothing? Look, things got out of hand. Clementine was only trying to make a point, but then... You make it sound so casual. Best thing is probably for you two to leave town and get back to your group. We were attacked earlier this evening. There were four of us. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. If there's... If there's anything I can do to help. Well, not that I have much to offer you, but... I know a thing or two about losing family. If you really want to help me, let us out of this cage. Eleanor? You done yet? Just about. All right. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm driving you that junkyard myself. Get you out of my hair, and no one can say I didn't do right by no one. In the meantime, you two can sleep right here and think about what shitheads you were earlier. On my terms and on my timeline. You got me? Uh, All right. Fair enough. Fair enough? Go kiss a skunk's ass. I should be earning a goddamn Boy Scout badge for this. All right, calm down. Trip. It doesn't seem right to wait. Javi's people, they can need a medic. No, nah, no way. Not putting you in that kind of danger again. That's not your call. Look, maybe there's another way. We've got a rear gate down at the other end of the airfield. We don't use it much, but, well, we could leave tonight. Slip past the herd, get a jump start on reaching that junkyard. What? Seriously? When you do that for me... It's just... It's the right thing to do. Anyway, think about it. I've got to check on some patients, but I'll be back in an hour. You know, I never would have guessed she had it in her. Yeah. She's... She's something. The thing is, is and maybe this sounds weird, but I still trust Trip more than I trust her. Um, well, I, I, I think we should leave tonight because, like, if we left it till morning, then, like, Gabe and the other girl, the other two girls would probably come out looking for us. And then that just leads to bigger complications. Like, we'd be trying to find them while they're trying to find us. And it's better if we go as soon as possible. Because they might still be waiting for us to get back. So I think we're we leaving leave tonight there. with Eleanor. If it gets us there even a minute sooner, it's worth it. All right, I'm in. You know, when I met you, I thought you'd just be another asshole like everyone else. And to think that when we first met, you nearly blew my head off. <laughs> yeah, guess Yo. I made the right call. Sounds like Eleanor will be a little while. Maybe we should get a few winks. Good idea. I'm exhausted. I'll get the lamp. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to end that episode there. Hopefully you guys did enjoy part three of episode one of The Walking Dead New Frontier. Next episode is going to be the last one of episode one. Then we'll be moving on to episode two. And uh, yeah, then we'll just be waiting for episode three to come out. So yeah, please do leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. See ya.